This is Mr. Martin. Uh, in these notes, we are going to talk about composite figures. So uh, we're going to be taking our plane figures that we've been working with, and uh, we're going to be combining them into uh, more complex shapes. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Anytime you need to pause, or if uh, you happen to be working in class and you want to pause and ask a question, feel free to do that. Um, so a composite figure is a figure that can be separated into regions that are basic plane figures. So we're talking triangles, parallelograms, trapezoid, rectangles, circles, so all of those uh, plane, when we talk about plane figures, that's what we're talking about. Plane meaning they're in a flat surface. Okay, to find the area of a compo composite figure, divide up the regions and find each area. So we're going to break it up into separate problems. Then find the sum, or it could be the difference, or difference if we're subtracting areas of the areas. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple examples here. Let's take a look at this first one. For number one, we have two different areas. I'm going to label them one and two. So I have a rectangle here, and I have a trapezoid here. And what I want to do is I want to figure out some of the other dimensions. So since this is a rectangle on top, I know this is also 23 centimeters. And I need to find the height of my trapezoid here. Okay, so since I know that the height from top to bottom is 18, and I know that this height of my rectangle is 12, if I subtract these two, that's going to give me 6 centimeters for the height of my trapezoid. Okay, so um, you know you have to look at all the different dimensions in the figure and uh, try and figure out uh, what the missing ones are. So let's do the two areas. So the area of one is going to be length times width. So length is 23 and the width is 12. So that gives me 276 centimeters squared and then the area of 2 is a trapezoid so that's 1 half h times b1 plus b2 so that's going to be 1 half the height we figured out was 6 and the bases are 23 and 15 And if we calculate all that, we should get 114 centimeters squared. So the total area, I'm going to call it A sub total, is going to be 276 for the rectangle plus 114 for the trapezoid to give us 390 centimeters squared. Don't forget your units when you're working with area problems. Alright, at this point if you need to pause the video to get stuff uh, copied down, feel free to do that. Or if you want to uh, pause and get some questions answered, do that as well. Let's move on to uh, number three. So for this one, notice we have three different areas. So I have a rectangle, I have a triangle, and I have half of a circle, a semicircle. And let's take a look at all of the different dimensions that they give us. So I see this is 9 here, so I know that this is going to be 9 here, so that's going to be my radius of the circle. And then I also know that it's going to be 9, because this is also a radius, this is also going to be 9. So anytime you have a circle or a semicircle, any distance from the center to the circle is going to be 9. So now I know that this is 9 from here to here, 
and this is 7 from here to here, so that's 16, and this whole thing is 26, so that means that this is 10 over here, all right? And since this is 9, this is also a radius, so that also has to be 9. So the first thing you want to do is go through and find all the different dimensions that you're going to need. All right, so let's go ahead and find our different areas. So I have the area of 1, which is length times width. So that's going to be uh, 9 times. Okay, so this height here is going to be 10 plus 7, so that's 17. So that gives us 153 feet squared. An area of 2, that's a triangle, so that's half base times height. So that's 1 half. The base is 9, and the height is 10. So that's going to give us 45 feet squared, and then the area of 3 is a semicircle, so that's going to be half of pi r squared, because the circle is pi r squared and we only have half of it, so we'll do a half. Remember, in your calculator, half, you could just plug in 0.5, so that's going to be a half times pi. If your calculator doesn't have a pi button, just use 3.14, our radius is 9, and that's squared. And that should give us about 127.23 feet squared. So our area total, we're going to add these up. And we should get 325.23 feet squared. All right, again, if you need to pause to get caught up or if you have questions, go ahead and do that now. Otherwise, let's move on to shaded regions. So in the first two examples, we were adding areas. In these examples, we're going to be subtracting areas. So to find the area of a shaded region, find the area of the entire figure, then subtract the area of the non-shaded region. So we're, we're kind of taking out a hole. So let's go ahead and take a look at number seven. So for number seven, I see I have a rectangle and then I've subtracted out a triangle. So the area total, let's do area shaded. Area shaded. is going to be the area of the rectangle minus the area of the triangle. Okay, so let's take a look at some dimensions here. I see my um, rectangle is um, 14 by 25. And then my triangle, if I look at it sideways, this is going to be my height. So my base, this whole thing here, is going to be 25 as well, so I think I have everything I need. So the rectangle is length times width. The triangle is one half base times height. So I have 14 times 25 minus one half, and then the base here was 25, and the height here was 11. So that gives me 350 minus 137.5 for a total shaded area of 212.5. Again, don't forget your units, centimeters squared. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. Again, if you need to pause right now, go ahead and do so. And then make sure you get all your questions answered and finish up the rest of these problems. Uh, and get help when needed. We'll see you next time.